Humans are unisexual and viviparous. The major reproductive organs include the external genitalia, like the penis in males and the vulva in females, along with a number of internal organs, including the gamete, producing gonads like the testicles in males and the ovaries in females. Let us learn about the organs of the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system is located in the pelvic region. It includes the testes, accessory ducts, accessory glands and external genitalia. The testes are covered by a sac-like protuberance of skin and muscles called the scrotum. The scrotum lies between the penis and the anus. The testes need to be at a temperature of 2 to 2.5 degrees less than the body temperature to produce sperms. Hence, the scrotum is outside the body and has a temperature lower than the body. The testes are oval in shape with a length of about 4 to 5 centimeters and a width of about 2 to 3 centimeters. The testes are surrounded by a tough connective tissue capsule called the tunica albuginea. Each testes has 250 compartments called testicular lobules. Each lobule in turn contains one to three highly coiled seminiferous tubules. The lining of each seminiferous tubule is called the germinal epithelium and contains the male germ cells known as the spermatogonia and Sertoli cells. The male germ cells undergo meiotic division to form mature sperm cells. This process is called spermatogenesis. The Sertoli cells provide nutrition to the germ cells. The regions outside the seminiferous tubules contain blood capillaries and nerve fibers and small groups of large glandular cells are called interstitial cells or Leydig cells. Leydig cells synthesize and secrete testicular hormones called androgens. Reti testis, Vasa efferentia, Epididymis and Vas deferens are the male accessory ducts. The Reti testis is a network of ductules formed by the seminiferous tubules. Vasa efferentia are ciliated ductules that arise from the Reti testis. They collect sperms and transfer them to the epididymis. The epididymis is a long, narrow, highly coiled tubule present along the posterior surface of the testis. It is divided into three parts. Anterior, caput epididymis. Middle, corpus epididymis. and Posterior, corda epididymis. The epididymis stores the sperms temporarily and nourishes them. The epididymis leads to vas deferens that ascends into the abdomen and curves around the ureta and loops over the urinary bladder. It extends backwards and receives the duct from the seminal vesicle and finally opens into the urethra as an ejaculatory duct. The neck of the urinary bladder, ejaculatory duct and prostate gland open into the urethra or urinogenital canal. The urethra extends through the penis to its external opening called the urethral meatus or 
urinogenital aperture. The urethra is the common passage for urine and semen. The male accessory glands include a pair of seminal vesicles, a prostate and a pair of bulbourethral glands. They secrete seminal fluid that contains fructose and prostaglandins. The prostate gland is present at the base of the urinary bladder around the base of the seminal vesicle. It opens into the urethra through many ducts. The prostatic fluid contains calcium, citrate and phosphate ions. The bulbourethral glands or Cowper's glands are pea-sized structures lying posterior to the prostate gland and at the base of the penis. Their secretions help in the lubrication of the penis. The external genitalia in males is called the penis. The penis is a copulatory organ and is covered by a loose sheath of skin. The skin that hangs over the tip of the penis is known as the prepus or foreskin. It is made up of special tissues like corpora cavernosa and corpus spongiosum. The tip of the penis, covered by the prepus, is called the glans penis. The penis, urethra, vas deferens, and Cowper's gland together help in copulation and in the deposition of sperm within the female.